Hello. So today we have an iPhone 11 that doesn't start, doesn't power on. Um, first thing, it's it came already opened. Yeah, but it has all the shields. It has a lot of damage on the sides here of the screen. Um, so probably it was dropped several times. So first thing first, we try to uh, see what the charging current is. You can see it here, right where the USB is. Okay, so we have a normal charging current, but the phone does not start apparently, so it's charging at 5 volts to amps. And the power button does not do anything, so we might have a display issue. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna remove the charging. And uh, let's see. Find the script for the 11. Right, and let's try to connect it here without breaking any flexes. Okay, it's connected. Uh, now, you're gonna see the PSU on there. I'm gonna start the power. <coughs> so we have 4.1 volt, nothing there. I'm prompting to boot. And it looks like a normal boot behavior so far. Ah, and it stays at 155. So uh, that is interesting. Can it be the phone is in DFU mode maybe? Uh, Let's see. Let me bring you to this screen. So we connect the cable. And the computer doesn't see it. So this is bad. Uh, yeah, it's not in DFU. Well, if it was in DFU, we should have had like less uh, power than 150, 150 milliamps, as you see right here. Yeah, 155. So this is bad. Um, unfortunately. Uh, most of the times it's related to the CPU or the PMU or one of the power lines. Yeah, So unfortunately we're gonna have to take it off. This isn't an easy job. I'm gonna remove everything and then uh, we'll see. Again, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Let me connect again the power supply. And we're gonna try to boot this uh, top board only. So PSU is connected. I've powered it on. So I think it's these two pins. Yeah. Well, this seems to be booting. Interesting. So we have a normal boot behavior with top board only. 
that's definitely interesting so apparently we have a problem with the bottom board so i'm gonna power this off and uh, let's look on the bottom maybe it was just an intercon uh, how is it called interposer issue or maybe there is a short somewhere although we should have seen that but we never know let's put the meter in diode mode all right you can see the meter up on the right corner so i'm gonna first measure the 3v15 line i should be around here there's no short here yeah. so i'm gonna do some random measurements then uh, i'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary Alright, so we have a short here. Oh no. It was just a cup that uh, was charging. No, so we don't seem to have any obvious short. Alright. So nothing out of the ordinary. It might just be a problem with a communications line. Maybe the interposer didn't make a good connection. You saw the phone a little bit, huh? So this is beeping on both sides, but I think it's fine. Let me look under the schematic and see if this is a radio line. So we were looking right here. Yeah, those are low resistance lines. Alright, so I'm gonna go and grab a bite and then uh, I'm gonna solder the boards back together. So it's either there was no con good connection between the boards or maybe the CPU has some problem and because we hit it the board uh, it just started to make a good connection. I don't know. We're gonna see. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink. Who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars. Flip the handlebar. In my car, wake up in a bar. I'll be a superstar. Just saw my avatar. This world is so bizarre. Empty out the reservoir. Yeah, I'll take a six shots. Looks pretty good. 
good. So now let's take the power supply again. Connect it. Power on. You're gonna see the power supply on the upper left corner. And let's try to prompt it to boot from here. Hopefully it's gonna boot now and it's not gonna be stuck again at uh, 150 milliamps. Alright, so this looks like a normal boot behavior. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it. And we're gonna put the board back into its case. Let me first uh, fix these uh, battery pins. Because uh, when I use the squid on the 11 series, I think the squid is a bit uh, thicker than a battery. Uh, and I need to push back those pins so we make a good connection. Alright, so putting back on 11, I hate this part. I just hope it was only the interposer. Right, and for testing, I don't have the passcode for the phone uh, and because we removed the boards, we need to test for uh, for the basement if it works. So I'm gonna add a SIM card, a test one, and we see if it's gonna get some signal. So, let's connect the charger and see what's going on. Of course the battery is dead. So I'm gonna pause it for now until we get some charge into it. Cool, so the phone is starting now. What's this? This is a light here. A reflection, okay. Alright, so phone is on. I have 4G there, as you can see, so there is signal on it, let me call it. Hello? 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 Okay, so it appears to work fine. Uh, I think this is all for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Bye.